Hi, I'm David Missel with Sennheiser Corporation, and I'm here at Full Compass to introduce to you one of our latest innovations in wireless technology. What we have here in front of me is the 9000 series digital wireless system. It has bell pack transmitters, handheld transmitters, and an eight channel receiver system right here. Very unique performance, very unique features within the whole system. Basically, we have a bell pack transmitter that has a built-in ADD. That ADD is 24-bit 96 kilohertz transmission in the bell pack. What this does is really eliminates companding or, or artifacts of your typical analog system. It's going to increase my, it's going to lower my noise floor and increase my dynamic range. It sounds like a wired microphone. Beautiful sound. You can't even tell the difference as we've done some tests before to compare with a hardwired lavalier and a, and a microphone going into this system. You can't really tell the difference. Sounds just like a wire. Same thing with the handheld transmitter. The handheld transmitter has a built in A to D as well. We have removable capsules, so you can change the capsules and put in our 800 series or 900 series capsules. We also have two Neumann capsules available, the 204 and the 205 condenser capsules that are hypercardioid and cardioid. Both transmitters work on a lithium ion battery, rechargeable lithium ion. It gives you about five and a half hours of battery life on the handheld and about six and a half hours of battery life on the bell pack transmitter itself. What's really cool about this system is the receiver itself and how it integrates with the external booster. The receiver is a wideband receiver. It's looking at the whole UHF range. But the external booster that can be used with any um, uh, passive antenna is going to boost a signal, plus it has eight discrete filter sets in it. Let me show you what I mean. Let's look at this receiver rack here. I'm going to go down to System. You can see that I've got a couple of transmitters that are turned on right now, and I'm looking at my RF uh, on there and um, looking at my battery strength. But what I want to do is I want to scan the connected, trans, uh, connected antennas that I have and take a look at the interference around here. If I go in, I'm looking at a spectrum of 470 to 638 megahertz. It's a pretty wide bandwidth. And then those filters I talked about, 24 megahertz, 24 megahertz, broken up into eight divisions, I'm going to be able to select which filter set I want to use depending on the interference. Well, here at Full Compass, there is a lot of uh, interference. There's some local broadcast DTV. Let's take a look. I'll put it into scan mode. Press the Enter button. It's now going to scan that whole range. It is now looking at my boosters and changing from filter to filter and looking at that interference right now. It's a little bit on this first filter, not a lot of noise. But that second one, I'm seeing a big jump in RF level, which is a very high-powered broadcast transmission that's local. But it's really showing me what I'm going to be able to do and where I can put my frequencies. That first selection right here looks like it would be fantastic to use. You can see that it's really crowded here. Also, the system is telling me how many frequencies I can get within each one of these 24 megahertz wide filters. In this first set here, I can do 40 channels. That's pretty good, 40 channels of wireless mics in a single 24 megahertz wide bandwidth. Well, let's go in and choose A3. I got some room in there. What it does now is it looks at that booster that's connected to the receiver and has now tuned that booster to that filter set of 24 megahertz. And in doing that, it's eliminated all that other interference that's out there, and it's just focusing on the energy that's coming in in that one filter. I've already set up some frequencies here, and you can see I've got two transmitters here and a few more. All these black lines are showing you transmitters. And all I have to do if I want to change anything is highlight a channel, use my jog wheel, and bring it over to where I want to put it. And all I got to do is find a hole and set up my frequency. Very, very simple. When I'm done, then I got, all I have to do is take my transmitters, hold it in front of an infrared diode, and load that frequency into it. Very, very simple. Also, I do not really care about intermodulation. In other words, these transmitters do not create intermodulated artifacts. It's another great innovation that we developed on, on our transmitters, which means I can do a 22, 24 channel system and not do a frequency coordination between them because I know that they will not create intermodulation. Let's take a look at the back of the digital 9000 receiver and see what kind of configurations we have. 
On the back, we have the main frame, and here is my input module for my RF coming in from my antennas. Right now I have two antennas coming into my inputs here, A and B antenna. And then on the bottom we have an output stage where I can daisy chain up to three more eight channel racks for a total of 32 channels of, of 9,000 series off of two antennas. Then I have one output module here that's an analog output module and I have eight analog out here balanced and then another eight analog out here which gives me a two-way split of each of my receiver modules. Then I have my AES EBU output module here that's going to give me uh, four pair, which gives me eight AES out here, another eight AES EBU here, and another eight here. So I'm going to get three-way split of AES per receiver module. Then, I, right here, I have my Ethernet card, because this is compatible with your WSM software that you can now use with our G3 and 2000 and 3 and 5K systems. Now is available also for the 9000 for control and for monitoring has a word clock ink sync input as well, and then a medical grade power supply. And here we have a blank card for, for future upgrades. A multi-channel digital format, MADI, AVB, that type of thing. We want to make sure that, that this system is going to be compatible for, for future uh, integration of, of systems and compatibility with, with other uh, multi-channel wireless systems. So let's take a look. Eight channel receiver. An A to D in the transmitters, that's 24-bit, 96 kilohertz. No companning, beautiful sound. A filter system that's dynamic, where the user can select where he wants to go. No intermodulation as I set up my frequencies, so it makes my frequency coordination that much easier. And of course, Sennheiser technology and Sennheiser expertise, so you know that RF link is going to be fantastic for in the toughest applications. That's why we are used quite a bit on Broadway and in most sporting events. We do a great job at our RF and it's continued here with the 9000 series and all this innovation. If you need some more information, please jump onto the fullcompass.com website and take a look or call your Full Compass sales representative and he'll be able to fill you in. Thanks so much for the time today and I'm glad uh, we were able to show you this new product from Sennheiser.